it seems great. Keeps are in action. All right, then. It's an awkward hand, but I'll keep it. Yeah, I'm going to kick off with playing a turn timber symbiosis tapped as a as a land. Go. Okay. I'll get a and I'm just going to play total counter. A forest and go. Okay, draw. Right, what do we want? I think we'll play this nomad outpost and then pass. It's a ban. Play a missing and crack it and pass. Oh wow! No Mr. mana crypt. I had my uh, control magic spell ready to go, <laughs> and then I draw my green land, so I wasted my tin turn timber. But that's okay. Um, I'll play a winding constrictor and pass the turn. I'll put a capture triumph into play tapped. I'm gonna draw. And I am going to play. I don't play this um, a... Verdant Catacombs and crack it and pass down. Right. Got a life total count. Untap draw. What have we got here? Fast turn. Untap draw. Uh, Calling time, pass the turn, fetching when priority is appropriate. Mm -hmm. Wow, Ben. We're all playing basics, and Ben's there with his foil triomes and scholarly. These aren't the foil triomes, these are just regular um, dark triomes. Oh, I'm sorry. Other four times in another deck. Swamp. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> since Ben's taking his life total down himself, I'll attack Ben for two. Okay. Seems solid. Yes, I'm taking two then. Yeah. Like then what? I'll cast a Plate Crafter mm -hmm. and sack it, and everyone else sacks a, a card, or discards a card, rather. Sacks a card. <laughs> yeah. Awkward. You know, beta rules, you know. Oh what's, man. What's, what's Ben on? Old man Ben? Bean? Me one. on? Mm -hmm. What life are you on? 38? No, 36. 36. Yeah. Sorry, Ben. Discard Go. a card, was that? Discard a card. Ugh. Why are we discarding a card? Sorry, I missed that. Plague Crafter. Oh, is it? Oh, if you can't sack a creature, you discard a card, I think. Mm -hmm. yeah. is, it, is it a creature in play? A creature in play, if you got one. No, no. Is, is that a creature in play that affects every turn, or is it... No, it dies. Because I sacked it. It oh, comes okay. into playability. Got yeah. Um, going to discard um, a Golgari charm. Guess I'll discard this approach the second sun as it's turn two. <laughs> and pass turn to Lee. Cool. Mm -hmm. uh, A mountain and three and play a Ramunat excavator. Oh, nice. mm. Land you discarded from the graveyard. <laughs> oh no, that was a fetch land I cracked earlier, but uh, I was wondering if you you you'd, you had it in the hand already and just chose oh. this hard effect to set yourself up. <laughs> yeah, no, I I drew it that turn to be fair. Ah, uh, okay. That that would have been the play, right? Yeah. It would be a good play. I'm gonna play this um, as incubator and name angels. Hmm. Angels. Was that Dave? Um, just creature spells of the chosen type cost two less to cast. Ah. It's a perfect angel's type pick. I guess Tariel is an angel. Not, Tariel is an angel, but Tariel mm. also costs seven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the first time you cast her, you mean? And the second. Well, the second she costs nine. Oh. Well, she costs two less. <laughs> I suppose. I'm going to cast a coalition relic and pass the turn. Oh, man. Hmm. 
Um, Ghost Quarter. Seems strong. It's a, it's one of those cards. Um, then a Caustic Caterpillar. Oh, nice. What does that do? It can be sacrificed to destroy target artifact or enchantment. Oh, you bastard. The cost to do that's quite high, isn't it? Or Two. Two. Okay. Um, what's your creature, Lee? It's a 2-3. Oh, well, that's useless. Um, this time I'll take Graham for two. The mighty winding constrictor. I'll take two. Not because yeah. I have to, but because I want to. That's fine. I'd rather you want to take the damage than anything else. And then I'll pass to him. Cool. I will draw a card. I could untap the horse dog here, so it wouldn't be helpful. Oh, yeah. Nothing on that here, people. Um, let's play this. I kind of wish I'd kept that Urza's Ink Trader, but it's dead. Um, this one looks rubbish oh, by yeah. comparison. Yeah, this this one looks rubbish by comparison. <laughs> I think it was worth peanuts as well. We've made nothing on it. <laughs> um, is that all that bulk was all pure profit because we bit uh, we we bought the the singles, not the bulk. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing we sold the we sold the the bulk for nothing as well, Ben. Well, we we sold the bulk for six hundred quid, didn't we? Yeah, well, the bulk and some stuff up to the value yeah. of about 50 bucks a pop or whatever it was. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just going to crack my fetch land and pass the gun. Pretty much here at the moment. Uh, swamp. Swamp. I think it's all going around. Or is it not? I think it is. I go. Yeah. 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 Un untap and draw. Um, I'm going to play this Dragon Skull Summit. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we will tap all the manners. Play a Kalia of the Vast. <laughs> I don't like running her as the commander. I feel the deck becomes too linear then. Yeah. Uh, that's me. Okay. I'm going to put a charge count on Coalition Relic at the end of your turn. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to remove it, tap the ones, and play Solemn Sun Mulacrum. Mm. Then I will cast an expedition map. Nice. And pass my turn. I will murderous rider the Kalia. Yeah. Sw swift inch. And take two. Um, Barrymore tapped. I'll push out a Merrin. Merrin. Oh, tail, no. And I'll attack 
Lee with a 1-1 one, one, and Ben with a 2-3. Um, I will block with my summon simulacrum. Mm -hmm. I will not block. Die. Draw a card. Yep. I will go to 37. Yep. And then I'll go to my end step and return a plate crafter to my hand. Got the old uh, Grat Figures cage or. Rest in peace anywhere? <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's hope not. They're very boring cards. I know. I am definitely going to put one in this deck. <laughs> Play white. Rest in pieces. Although I didn't have to take out my reanimation sub theme. Mm. I mean, okay. you don't have a reanimation sub theme. Ignore you heard that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no draw card. Is it a sub theme or just a theme? Well, I thought. What's more fun than angels? Resurrecting dead angels? Mm, that is pretty fun. And, and Rhea Dawnbringer was just naturally in there because she's a legendary angel who's part of the law. So you might as well. Oh, uh, no, I, I, I cut her because she was too expensive. Oh, she... Well, she costs a bomb to, to yeah. cast her, and my top yeah. end was filled with other fun gribbles. Yeah, it's, it's funny. I was looking at it and thinking about Rhea Dawnbringer being a nine mana five five or something. Six. Old school magic, right? <laughs> And then you've got Shouldered at seven mana that does the same thing and create and makes them sack each player sack a creature. <laughs> yeah, the power creep is real. Yeah, it really is. I'm going to play um, Vindictive Vampire. Mm -hmm. Whenever a creature I control dies, it drains everybody. Uh, I thought that was an opposition agent. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I, I wouldn't do that. I, don't think, I just don't think I'd play that card. Um, oh, I do. <laughs> I'm going to crack my fetch land again, go to 36. Uh, and just bust it. Cool beans. I'm going to have to tap the draw. And I guess we'll pass the turn. All the manners up. <laughs> it's not a trap. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spider. In a way, it should be a phone holder. It's a bit shit. I'm going to play a sacred foundry untapped. Uh, then play a green warden of Moraza. Oh, nice. And return and approach the second sun from a grave. And that's me done. All right. Is that the one from Kamigawa? Approach the second sun. No. no, green, the green something or other. Battle, Battle. Battle. Sec for Zen. Second Zendikar, oh, right? Right. I just remember Ben Ben used to have this deck, uh, Captain Cisse, and it was filled with legends. And at the time, 90% of the legends were from Kamigawa. Yep. And nobody knew what the fuck was going on. Yeah. Excuse my French. You're just like, what does that card do? Right, I'm not going to remember that. The channel minutes. twice now, Graham. Huh? <laughs> played it on the channel twice already. Have you? I didn't. I thought you got rid of it, to be honest. No, it's still there. It's still oh, there. right. Is it still just as confusing for everybody except you? You, um, get, you kind of have an advantage like that. <laughs> no, I mean, it's. I put in some more stuff because there's been loads of stuff printed since. And like pulled out the things like the lands that gave all my legends banding because that was confusing for everyone. <laughs> mm. All Sorry, right. I don't, no, no, that's I cool. I miss Kamigawa block because it looks really cool. Some re like oddities that obviously made it into legacy and modern playables, but I think yeah. the vast majority. Yeah. Talk to us if you're casting something, Greg. I'll <laughs> cast a wood elves. Yep. Love wood elves. Get a oh, forest. Wood stick wood. a forest into play. I think I've got enough black mana, so I don't need to take the pain. This is where the Bayo would be really cool. Bayo, yeah. Bayo. Why, why don't you just buy one? Yeah, I will. With all your all your streaming millions you're making off That's advertising and, and whatnot, esports. Well, and actually, we buy everything from Channel Fireball because that's where the, the best deals are made, right? Yeah. <laughs> we ship off all our bulk cards to them and... 
they just sort them out and give them back to us. Yep. Give us the money, give us credit, and we get by you. All right, I got to land. Um, that was cool. Um, and then guess what? I will play a plate crafter. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we each sacrifice a creature or planeswalker or discard a card if we can't. Cool. I'm going to sacrifice this green warden and return and then exile it and return this column to my hand. Mm -hmm. I get an experience counter. I'm going to discard going... this mortify. Sorry, nice. I did that out of sequence, but there we go. I'm going to sacrifice the vindictive vampire. Um, everybody loses a life and I gain <laughs> one. Ugh. You're back you up to 40 there, Lee. 37. 37. I've fetched the same Verdant Catacombs three times. So. <laughs> Is that allowed? <laughs> I think so. It is with um, Rami now. Then, do I want to swing? Yeah, why not? Um, who's got a blocker? I think Ben's pretty much undefended. Yours is a 2-3 still, isn't it? Lee. It is, yeah. Well, I'll attack you I, with a 3-4, I, I don't Lee. have a blocker either. But you've got a you're full a... set of mana up, Graham. You're better Shh. defended than the others. Uh, a 3-4. 3-4 <laughs> I'm... at you, Lee, and a 2-3 at Ben. Okay. I'm going to take your big three. Aha. Uh -huh. Go down to 34. All right. And at end of turn... I bring back a caustic caterpillar to the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes. I am so lucky. What's the condition for being able to bring it back, Greg? Um, my experience point counters. So if if at the end of my end step, or in my end step, I get to either bring back a um, X or less to X play or less, back. or or return it to my hand. Otherwise, that's the one. And I can make I can make the choice, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a, a sort of morbid trigger on that the creature had to die or not. No, remember. nothing has to die. It, no. Things dying just make it better. It's just like ridiculous. It, it's experience counter, doesn't it? Or yeah, I get experience counters every time things die. Another thing dies. Go. Is it just once per turn, or no? Whenever another creature I control dies. So if you um, wipe the board, I'll get four counters right now. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. I'm That's what I was asking. I wasn't sure if it's for each instance of death or if they yeah. all die. It's one, you know what I mean? Once I get to about nine counters, it means I can get anything back in my deck. Yeah. As long as Marin's in play. Can you proliferate yeah. experience counters? Yes. Yeah. I was doing that last time with Mizzix. Mm. Then I was casting X spells where X equals 15 for one mana. I wonder if you can use, can use Hex Mage. No, Hex Mage is permanent. Yeah. Your Solemnity is pretty nasty. Okay. Oh, yes. I'm going to play this Verdant Catacombs again. Oh, man. Lee's killing himself with his own lands. Mm -hmm. um, and then I've got to tap four to play a Xenagos, the Reveler. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna make a say to with that. This thing is fucking huge. Say to. I'm gonna crack my fetch land. And I'm gonna thirty three and get the forest. Forest. Tap two and play a blood artist. Ooh, nice. And that's the tattoo blood artist. It is the tattoo blood artist. And then I'll just go across the turn. So I'm just going to find a satyr. And put a counter on your Xenagos. Uh, no, it's zero to make a satyr. So yeah, so you, oh, it does have three on it. I didn't see the three. Oh, sorry. That's cool. Oh. God, that thing's heavy. My turn. Uh, at the end of Lee's turn, I'm going to cast all the manners and flash in this Avacyn Archangel. Nice. Give your creatures indestructible for them, correct? Yep. Handy. Now it's my turn, and they have no longer are indestructible. Boo. Play land. Um... Let's 
Greg have a way of sacrificing creatures at will? No. No. At the moment, but yes. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. I might do this now then. Um. I'm gonna unmake your plate crafter. That exiles. Exiles. Yeah. Yep. You don't so like I'd... plate crafter. I, it's a fine card. I, <laughs> I prefer playing it. <laughs> yeah, I need to get my Fleshbag Marauder into play now. Absolutely. Right. Um, and on that shiny note, I think we'll move to the attack step and let Greg feel the sharp end of a 4-4. A four, four. angel. Yeah. I'll How take that. Oh, you flashed it in on at least turn. Sorry, so it doesn't have haste. No yeah. haste. It just can oh. do it. <laughs> Correct. Uh, and then I shall pass the turn. Okay, at the end of your turn, I'll put a uh, counter on the coalition relic. Uh, draw. Uh, at the beginning of my main phase, I'll remove it for a white banner. What do you want, Ben? 33? Yep. Then I will pay another white, blue, and one for a supreme verdict. Mm. Interesting. One, two, three. Stick this in there. Um, I'm going to, in response to that, cast Ablation. Which the owner of target non land permanent shuffles it into his library that, and then draws two cards. And I'll target my Avacyn. Okay. okay, so how many creatures die? All um, creatures, great and small. Oh, just, you know, you want to know numbers? Cause just because of my blood artist triggers. So Four got... for me, one for Graham, and no, any of yours. No, mine did not die. Oh, okay, sorry, not Graham. So... shuffled. So four, just four from seven, me. yeah. Yeah, seven, I guess. Every, does that seven. everybody lose seven? No, he's uh, got no, a target. No, target. Um, I will do um, three to Ben and two each to Graham and Rick. Okay. Ben's and on share, 30. Share the love. And I go back up to, I go back up to 40. And search for a forest for it to play tapped and pass my turn. What are you on, Graham? 37. Okay. Sorry, I, I don't have any Ds, so... That's no, fine. Using a notepad. So we've got Graham on 37, Ben is on... 30. 30, 30 and Greg, I can't see. I'm 32. on 32. Lovely. I mean... No one's anywhere near dying yet. Not, not yet. No, no such luck. You're the least far from dying, Lee. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Currently, yeah. Draw me two cards. What do we get? Fucking hell. How many cards in hand, everyone? Two. Five. Uh huh. Ben. Um, sorry, I'm just shuffling and splitting my library. I'll count them a second. Every day he's shuffling. Four cards in hand. Mm -hmm. mm. I made the mistake of putting Gonti into my deck. <laughs> I guess it's probably the time to play it, but um, I guess by playing it, I just need whoever I play it against to look at the top four cards of their library and... Well, they're not even meant to know. That's the difficulty here. Mm. Yeah. Gonti's not a very Zoom-friendly card, is it? Should I sub it out? Can do. But that, that sort of gives me a free tutor if I can sub it out. Or do I just yeah. discard it and draw all the next card? Yeah, I'm happy for you to do that. Yeah, yeah that, I feel happy with that. I feel you should do whatever you want to do, Greg. I well, have no opinions one way or another. Then I'll I play it. Deck for I'll play it. Done. Name Graham. <laughs> <laughs> uh, as long as you don't mind me playing um, Iona. I'm just kidding. Naming Black. <laughs> no, I am just kidding. <laughs> All right, I'll play a Terramorphic. I will play Marin again. Go to my end step. Play a Wood Elves. Get a Forest and say go. And then I'll crack my Terramorphic at the same time. I will untap. I will draw. Oh, that 
kind of like these new card frames. Which ones? The Valhalla ones. Kaldime, whatever they call Oh, them. they're great, yeah. yeah. They do look um, cool. Did a much better job than they did with the bloody um, Ammon Cat ones. Yeah. Yeah, that, the the Vorinplex that um, Connor so designed earlier was really nice in that. Yeah. Thing. Oh, right, so let's play Forester. Um, uh, we'll make a Sator. I don't know. It sounds like you've made a baby, not a Sator. <laughs> That that was quite some time ago. <laughs> is he is he a, is he a two one with haste? He is a two two with haste. The say to the baby is sort of, I don't know, not one one one, uh, an, a not one, one soldier one. <laughs> or one half one half a not one cobalt with the shitty ass. <laughs> um, what's the let's do some. Um, Let's play Corvold. Yay! We need some more cards. Right? We'll play Corvold and sack the Sator to his trigger. So we get to counter and I'll draw a card. And then they're just going to pass the turn. Five mana to draw a card isn't great, I suppose. But, you know. Well, it's a five mana five five flyer that drew you a card. Well, well I'll try and hope you've forgotten about the, mm. the, uh, the five five flyer that was attached to it. Mm. But yeah, uh, yeah, you're Ben, thank you, that's good. Yeah, thanks, Grand, yeah. Sorry, one second. <laughs> Problem with having work on your computer and your phone <laughs> and everything else. Ooh, interesting. Mm. I assume this is because he wants to play magic and he's yeah. not letting him play magic. Absolutely. <laughs> Does he have his first dual lands yet, Lee? Uh, not yet, no. It was on his thinking first birthday. Okay. Yeah, like a, well, I, I'd get him now. Set. They'll pay, pay his way through college. Absolutely. <laughs> not a bad idea, to be honest. Is it, this is currently because... Year. You get him one a year, he's going to play his first legacy deck at the age of seven. Yeah, and then, <laughs> but then you get to play it because he's not old enough to appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> um, I will pass my turn for uh -oh. <laughs> oh, wait. No, I won't. I'm going to cast Tariel. I forgot okay. I had Tariel. Uh, okay. that? Five. I forgot you had this awesome angel in your command zone. Well, it's um, it's okay. I'll pass and approach the second son. Hmm. Uh, well, Ben's won. <laughs> I don't know if he's won, but it's looking... It's he's looking got a win con. close. Yeah. But knowing, I... knowing Ben, he, uh, he'll have some way of digging to said... Uh... He might dig through time, for instance. Oh, oh, did I, 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 I needed to gain seven life. <laughs> And give a chance to self the chance of winning a little later down the line as a bonus. That's a fair point. So that's on thirty seven, is it, Ben? It is, yeah, thirty seven. Oh. The nice thing with approach is it really changes the dynamic of the game it now. It does. We've yeah. got a common enemy. <laughs> we've all got a common enemy and we've all got to hurry the fuck up. <laughs> Uh, 
Is that turn, Ben? That's turn, yep. That's turn. He's just trying to get enough time to play progenitus, really. Yep, pretty much. All right. So, Woodland Cemetery. Um, I'll play a Sidisi Undead Vizier. Mm -hmm. And s exploit the Wood Elves. Mm -hmm. Go to five. Um, go and look for something. Got four mana showing, so the options should be endless for four mana. Gotta make sure I get a sack outlet, I guess. Doopy doo. So many options. I don't even have to show what it is, do I? No, you don't. Gotta love these open tutors. Um where is it? I'm sure I'm playing it. Oh yeah. <laughs> Got a card. Play that out. Um, it's kind of on top of the library's hand, isn't it? It's in your hand. Yep. I'll take you, Ben, for three. Uh, Brock was solemn? Yep. And I'll draw a card. Did you get your solemn back? He just gets it back, you know. You don't get when to ask these questions. When you... It's not what? a cheaty face. You can't <laughs> cast it for anywhere. I got him back off the green water of Marasa when it died. I was able to exile it to return a card from the graveyard to my hand. Fair yeah. enough. Sounds like cheaty to me. It's a bit cheaty. Um, pay three, get a Nationals altar. End of turn, get a Caustic Caterpillar back to play. Pass turn. Um, about this Kessing Wolf run. Mm -hmm. What does Solemn do? Put land into your into play, and then you draw a card. Then you draw a card of death. Yeah. Basic land onto the battlefield. Tap when you enter the battlefield. Yeah. Uh, make a satyr. Mm -hmm. Versions of the gods. Standard board list and showcase. Uh, I'm going to go to combat. I'm going to combat. I have to sacrifice a creature. I'm going to sacrifice my Satan, not a creature, I just have to sacrifice a permanent. But Why do you have to sacrifice a permanent? Uh, when Corvold attacks. I'll see. You have to declare attackers firstly. Yeah, sorry. Let's go too fast. But Corvold is going to be an attacker. He's going to attack uh, Ben. Uh, so I sacrifice my Satan. I draw a card. Mm -hmm. And put. A counter. 
hit. So he's hitting for six. I'll take six. And then I'm going to my I'll play three for a plague crafter. Oh, so nice. That's a good card, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> so, Fuck's sake. I, I hate, I'm going to sac <laughs> sacrifice my own plague crafter. And a sacrifice, Sidisi. God, this land that I drew that I really didn't need to draw. I'm going to put a counter on Corvold and draw a card. Who did you attack with Corvold? Ben. Ben. All right. What life is Ben on at the moment? 31. 31? Yep. I've missed a trick there. He found a cheaty way to gain life. He did, didn't he? What a bastard. Spot by blocking. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to play five for this Ugin's Nexus. Decent. Neat. What's your biggest CMC? It's Corvold or? Uh, or the Nexus. Yeah. I'll play five. Um, and then just pass ten. All right. Untap. Draw. Oh, we have a sack out right? Lee does. So do you. You've got oh, Ashmod's altar. That is true. <laughs> What's in your graveyards? You've got Sadisi, Wood Elves, and a Boa Constrictor. Yeah, um, Winding Constrictor. Winding Constrictor. Yeah, and a cool. Terramorphic Expanse, if you're interested. Uh, what have you got in your graveyard, Lee? I have got a plague crafter, a blood artist, a Ramunap excavator, a verdant catacombs, a vindictive vampire, and a Golgari charm. What have you got in yours, Ben? Just the solemn simulacrum. Interesting. I don't think I need more land, although that would shuffle my library. Hmm. How many creatures did you say in your graveyard, Lee? Four. Four, yeah. yeah. Three for me. Three for you. Right, well, we're going to go to our attack step first anyway, so we can hit Ben in the face for four. <laughs> you tricksy little hobbit. 27. Um, then... Yeah, fuck it. Ben, we're going to target you and choose a creature at random from your graveyard. Solomon comes into play under your control. He does. I will use a token of some kind. A robot token. Um, I'll use this beast because he is a beast. <laughs> He's a 2-2, two -two, not a 3-3, three -three, you're sure. This is true. And then I'll go find myself a basic. Ooh. And then... Uh, what we do then? What does Sadisi let you do? Tutor stuff? Yep. Hmm. That seems good. But you have if to you, sacrifice. You have to guess. sacrifice, so you'd sack your. You'd have to sacrifice something. I'm going to put this there. Right. Okay, I'm go what I'm going to do once I've finished shuffling is cast a uh, animate dead targeting Sidisi. I think I can do that. Uh, in a graveyard, yeah. Cool. Let's target Sidisi. Why not? Mm -hmm. Bring her into play and we'll uh, do her sacrifice thingy and sacrifice the, the solemn. Yeah. Let's draw a card. Goes to your graveyard, but I get to draw the card. Mm -hmm. Then I get to go tutor something, and I have a... What is she? A death-touching... 
Four, She's a death touch four six. Alright. She's a beastie again. With right. a tutor attached. Right, so we draw off the solemn. That worked well. Then let's go. What do we want? You have to edit these long silences out. Right? Yeah, or, or put some amusing <laughs> jokes in, you know. What's brown and smells funny? Um, And is sticky? No, no, it's just what's brown and smells oh, funny. Oh, what is it? Clown's poo. Oh. <laughs> Lee needs to learn all of these, by the way. he's He needs those dad jokes. That is my favourite joke for awkward situations. Um... No, I feel like a 6 4 so DC seems like four, six. a. 4 6. Ooh, actually, we can do something else. I wasn't sure if you were casting what you tutored. That's all I was asking. Uh, why not? Let's go wild. Cast a Gisela of the Broken Blade. Mm. And pass the turn. End of your turn, I'll put a counter on Coalition Relic. I'll untap. Instead of drawing a card, I will uh, dredge life from the loan. <laughs> There it is. Oh, so, so that's three, two, two. Three. three. Yeah, so that's four things gone. So there's it's third card, guys. Um, removing the counter for a white mana and paying another four. Kenrith returned king. Mm. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> This is getting awkward. And that will be my turn. Interesting. All right, I'll okay. untap. Whoop, there oh. it is. Which do I hate more, Kenrith or um, Gisela? Or the, the commander under Graham? There's so many choices. Is Gisela that bad? She's only flying first strike life linking. 4 3. Mm. She's not like that brutal. Yeah, you're probably right. What is Ken? I'm going to have to look up Kenrith now. Uh, for red, he gives all creatures trample and haste. Or one and black, he put. Sorry, one and green. He puts a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. For white and two, he gains a player five life. Target player gains five life, I should say. For blue and three, target player draws a card, and for black and four, put target creature from a graveyard onto the battlefield under its owner's control. He is literally the Swiss army knife of, of white creatures. He's pretty cool. Uh, he does all the things. Mm -hmm. Seems pretty good. He's like a better version of Feldegriff, really, isn't he? Yeah, much better. <laughs> did you, yeah. Ben, did you Slightly actually better. did you cast Life from the Loam last turn? I did not. It's in my hand. Okay. Because right. if I dredged off it, I would actually end up dredging the, um, the card that I want anyway, wouldn't I? Yeah. I'll cast a Murderous Rider. Then I shall cast a Cavalier of Night. Sacking a Murderous Rider to kill Kenrith. Name sounds very close to Kenny. In response. Yeah, sure. I will pay five mana to return Bloom Tender from my graveyard to the battlefield. Ooh. Ooh. There it is. Kenrith will die. Kenny's got his uh, got his value. It should cost ten mana, but Mm-hmm. Well, it was the fact that if you guys couldn't answer, I could draw cards with it quite quickly. So Bloom Tender is a creature. The one one that taps for oh, wait. Each yeah. color on the I control, yeah. Murderous Rider goes on the bottom. Mm -hmm. 
I'll take your word for it. That's what it says on the card. <laughs> RTFC. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's think about this. Or not. Um, I'll take Ben uh, for four. Uh, okay. I will take four. All right. Thought you might. What's that what put you, you on? 23? Yep, 23. Hmm, interesting. All right. Then end step. Return of Wood Elves. Get a forest. Past turn. Seems good. Seems very angry. That Wood Elves has been... In fact, it will be an value. overgrown tomb untapped. I'll go down at 30. Oh, push that boat out, Greg. Untapping. Can we kill Ben before he gets to play Return of the Second Son again? <laughs> it's a race. Lee could do it with commander damage, I bet. Forest. Uh, tap the forest for soul ring. The thing is, I literally cast it to gain some life. You guys need to try and win the game here. So this is you, all I mean, you've, you've got, got a win ability, con Ben. On top of your deck, Ben. It's not on top of my deck. It was seven cards down when you started this. So it's like <laughs> two now? I'm sorry. Seven seven turns in EDH is like two right. turns in normal magic. Nothing no, really forever. happens. <laughs> I just have to step out, but let me know if anything matters to me. Yep. Gonna play this site here. Uh, what are we gonna do? Damn it, if I hadn't have drawn off the uh of the uh, solemn, I would have uh, been able to cast life from the loam next turn and one next turn, but uh, <laughs> I didn't know I didn't have a uh, life from the loam. I hit it off the dredge. Off the, um, no, I hit it off. What do I hit it off? Um, oh no, I discarded it. Uh, I'd drawn it the turn after I'd uh, drawn the card. Oh no, I drew it off the solemn, which is why I didn't know about it. Yeah. How, how much damage can you output, Lee? Um, I don't know. Quite a fair, fair bit, I should gather. Um, but is, I take Ben out, but then I've got to take you two out, which is a bit of an issue. Yeah, you might want to leave me, uh, leave me around to help you out, Lee. I might. Although you winning the game on the spot is not really helping. <laughs> In three <laughs> turns, I win the game on the spot. In how many turns do you say? Three turns. Mm, that's just your word. It could be two turns. Nobody's been keeping track. Nobody's been keeping score, have they? Well, yeah. I, I drew a card off Solemn after casting it when it died, and I dredged for three. So you don't have to take my word for it. There's the maths. I know, but I wasn't paying attention during all of that. Well, that's your fault. It, it very much is. I'm not, I'm not blaming you. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> what happened? Did Lee just win? No, uh, I can't win. I cannot win. I'm going to pay five. He said he can kill Ben, though. Yeah, but, but I think I, you have to kill Greg because you can't win even if you beat me. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to play this Sir Conrad. Mm -hmm. I like Sir Conrad. He's oh, he is good. He's seriously mm -hmm. good. What does Sir Conrad do for for your <laughs> six manners or whatever? Um, so for five mana. He, whenever a creature dies or a creature card is put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield or a creature card leaves the graveyard, each opponent loses a life. It's is it from other than, the, other than the battlefield, say? Yeah, so because um, he's got an activated ability, one in a black, each player puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. So if, yeah. if you mill creatures into there, you take one. Uh, so why are you worried about killing me? Just mill off the top of my deck. I could do that. That's an even better idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that dear. probably gets you access to it even quicker, right? No. <laughs> Don't believe that, him. He's a tricksy, false little hobbit. He is. Um, I've got no more um, black mana either. Um, so I'm going to go to combat. Uh, do it. And I am going to attack with 
Corvold, he's going to become an attacker mm -hmm. at Ben. Um, so I've got to sacrifice my Sato, put a counter mm -hmm. on. Everyone loses a life. Everybody loses a life. Yep. I draw a card. Oh, that's a good card. Do you lose a life as well, Lee? Uh, no, he no. gains life. Oh, no. no, he doesn't lose life. Conrad does one damage to each opponent. So it's one damage as opposed to life. Right. Losses, really. Got yeah. So Lee's still at 40. Yes. I am still at 40. Um, yeah. He's so worried about hit, <laughs> Hitting you for eight, Ben. Thank you. Eight. Uh, I'm going to block. Oh, he's flying, isn't he? He's a flyer. Yeah, so I'm not going to block that. Takes you down. Okay. 14, um, is that? Just the 14, yeah. There it is. <laughs> um, what else should I do? That's it. I'm just going to pass the tap. Uh, cool. Untap. I think Greg just combos off and kills you next turn, by the way, looking at his board straight. I don't have a combo ready. So you say, Greg, but you've got two <laughs> pieces there. <laughs> well, yeah, there is a sack engine and there is the Cavalier, which is pretty cool in this situation. Yeah, so he's going to kill you next turn if you don't kill him. <laughs> Well, Lee's got a lot of... I, I can't do a lot of Saki stuff because Lee will just win. All right, I'm going to play a Sword of Feast and Famine mm. and equip it to the Sidisi. All right. Sword of Feast. Then Benjamin. Mm -hmm. We're coming at you, chicken. <laughs> um, right. Uh, oh, that one's tappy tap as well. So it's eight, eight with pro green, and then eight in the air. Hmm. Well, fuck you, Graham. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, seriously, guys, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> there, there, there is method to the madness, don't worry. And then we untap. Like, seriously, Greg is the biggest threat on the board here, but sure. And then I'm going to cast Ruinous Ultimatum. Ooh. And destroy all of Lee and Greg's permanents. Ruinous ulti. All right. So destroy non-land permanents. Thank you very much. Sorry. All non-land permanents. All right. Oh, I get extra turn off for this one. So response. <laughs> Sacking wood elves for two mana. Uh, lose two li uh, lose a life, everyone. From, well, not Lee, obviously. But, no, uh, but you two lose a life. Yeah, I lose a life. Oh, by the way, Graham, you don't get the untap effect because I scooped in response. <laughs> <laughs> Too late now, Finn. I think he's gone on from there. <laughs> um, with one of the, the spare mana, I shall sack a caustic caterpillar and destroy the um, animate dead. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so then I'll have I'll... to sacrifice Sadisi. You'll just lose Sadisi. Yep. Go to my graveyard. Yep. Um, so it um, dies. So, so we, you all lose a life. We both lose two life. Is it two life? Because of the the caterpillar. One for the caterpillar, one for the CDC. Yeah, I will sack my cavalier and bring back the caterpillar and gain two mana, and sack it one more time. Um, so I. We all lose a life again, Ben. Uh, Graham, sorry. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead, Greg. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you lose life anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'll sack the caterpillar to kill the sword. Okay. And so we lose another life. So I'm down to 24. And down Merin gains enough counters that I don't care how many more there is. <laughs> then Merin will die, so I'll lose another life. And Ashnod's altar dies as well. And Ashnod's altar dies. Don't worry, it'll be back. And so then Xenagos dies. Corvold dies, goes back to the command zone. And we all lose a life from lose that. Life, you yep. lose a life. So Conrad dies. 
And lose a life. No. Lose a life. You don't lose a life. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay. So down on twenty-two. And then and the... Ugin's, Ugin's Nexus goes to the graveyard, but then it's exiled, and I take an extra turn after this one. Oh god! So Lee's going to take a turn, then I get a turn after that. What's your life total, Graham? Uh, twenty-nine. Okay. Cool. Um. Oh, lots of lovely things in the graveyard. Mm. Right. <laughs> what, what should we steal? <laughs> well, you don't get a choice. It's a random, right? I, I know. But uh, I'm trying to decide who's got the, the, the better stuff. Um, I'm actually going to go with Greg just because you've got stuff that's more disgusting and you can bring it back. Okay. So there's five things. Do you have a, uh, a random dice or? Let me use a... Google gen random number between one and five. Caterpillars one. I got four. What else? Ooh. I get to go fetch a forest yeah get yourself a forest <laughs> and now you've got a one one sweet <laughs> <laughs> <Levels. laughs> lee's turn i think my turn okay I'm gonna... well if if graham's done i i'm done yeah card Really have done with animating that caustic caterpillar, to be honest. Oh, Kina. Uh, what would it have destroyed? Oh, oh, Lee, your uh, soul ring's destroyed as well. Oh, it right? is, yes. Good point. Uh, no, it just would have stopped him blowing up artifacts <laughs> and enchantments. Uh, is all. But you don't have any artifacts and enchantments. Well, not anymore. <laughs> Um, is your as oh no, it's everybody else's, isn't it? So your as it can be, it was fine. Yeah. Yeah. That's the first time I've got to cast that, Ben. Yeah, and you shouldn't have done because I scooped in response and you still untapped your hand. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bitter pill to swallow. Okay. <laughs> I didn't change my life total. I picked up my permanent. I'm going to tap seven and cast this Avenger. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, you did. <laughs> Awkward. Uh, probably doesn't help, to be honest. Uh, we need a pull up from somewhere. Yeah, how, how could it possibly help having, like, 14 creatures into an empty board? <laughs> it's, not, it's not an empty board. I've got some shit going on. You're, you're irrelevant, Graham. Check me in my bad self. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, gets enough, Lee gets another turn before then. Yeah, yeah, that's very true. He they might could be four you, fours, but they could be four fours by then, Graham. Yeah. Could be. It won't matter if they're at four fours. They could kill us both. Yeah. Well, considering Lee's also at forty life. Yeah. It's starting to be annoying. Hindsight's pretty cool, isn't it, Graham? Yeah, it gets the game over quicker, to be honest, Ben. You can play a That's what I was trying to do. That's what I was trying to do. <laughs> it was hard to tell between all the salt. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was just the fact that, like, literally everybody turned against me. It was seven turns away. And the, the fuck, guys. It was less um, than what, three you, turns you, at that stage. You, you played Approach of the Second Sun. That's yeah, what because happened. people have been hitting me all game and I needed to gain life. <laughs> Um, it's not a simple life gain card. <laughs> I've got to pass the turn. The, the did did you play land, Lee? Off the top as well. I did play land, yeah. Uh, afterwards. Yeah. So you got what? Uh, no, 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 no. I played it prior. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. I wanted the extra body. I'm sure. All right. Uh, Frexian Altar. 
Oh, let's keep a ghost quarter ready for action. I think I, this is going to be one of those ridiculous turns off. Um, I'm going to Death Sprout the Avenger. Death Sprout the Avenger? Uh-huh. I know it sounds strange, but uh-huh. then I'll get myself a basic <laughs> and pass the turn. I'm going to untap. Play a mountain. Mm. There's a little bit of fodder there for a, a core vault, though. A little bit. Seven mana, so it's tap seven. Corvold enters. When he enters, I'll sack a plant. Get a counter. Give you a card. Isn't like a better version of Crash the Blood Braided. No, yeah. No, Crash doesn't either, but you throw Crash at people. I thought th- Crash threw stuff at people. But... No, it's whenever a creature dies, you put a plus one, plus one counter on him. Uh, yeah, he, he, he was a bit of a dumb brute. But he was great if you had, um, what's the milling one? Not Ashnod's altar. The blue black guy. Ultra of Dementia. Oh, Ultra of Dementia. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I milled someone out that way. It was good fun. <laughs> okay. Tap these three and play the Phyrexian altar. Aha. Uh-huh. Hmm. What does the Phyrexian altar do again? Colored mana. Uh, okay. Any mana. Yeah. Um, it's a better so, altar of dementia. I don't know, altar of dementia is two mana or something, isn't it? Yeah, Ashnod's mana. gets you two colorless. Uh, yeah. Phyrexian altar gets you one colored. So let's try and set for a red. Jesus, oh, it says a red. Draw a counter, draw a card. It does a pretty good job in Lee's turn, a uh, hand, because he just draws out. A whole Draw bunch. Draws cards as well. Draws cards yeah. and gets mana. That seems good. Corvold is ridiculously good, to be fair. At uh, mana source speed. Mm. Sack a plant. Make a black mana. It's like you are Counter. killing your army, though. Hope well, so. They're, yeah. they're not ones. They're, yeah, they're not ones. Um, so. They're basically Aldrazi spawn now. They're drawing the card. They're better than Aldrazi spawn. Mm-hmm. They make coloured mana and draw a card. That's true. Um, let's go. With, what do we want to do? Let's go with, sorry about this. Take a on. It's okay. again. Really depends what I draw. I'm going to add another black. That one's on. And same again. Draw a card. Oh, that's good. So that's two black, two red, and a green. I'm going to play Endric Sar. Whenever I cast a creature spell, create X 1-1 one, one thralls, where X is the spell's converted mana cost. And when I get 7, I have to sacrifice him. You just cast every creature in your deck now. Yeah, I know. It's now ridiculous. <laughs> How do you spell him? E-N-D-R-E-K S-A-H-R And then it's Master Breeder. Got him. Get X Black Thralls. Wow. Yeah, mate. Um, sorry, my light keeps falling over. 
Um, all right. So, yeah, I can start drawing lots of fucking cards. Now. How much mana do you have? Well, I can, at the minute, I could sacrifice the five plants. Mm. <laughs> so I'll put, I'll do that and do five cards. And you were worried about me having three turns. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> annoying. So I'll draw five cards, put that onto a ten. Five lands, all blank, can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, that'd have been fine. Um, we'll play... More than a seven drop, Lee. Yeah, no, I haven't got a seven now. Let's do something like... Um, I don't know. A murderous rider. As a creature. As a creature, which will give me three thralls. Um, still got two mana floating. So I'll play this Viscerous Seer. Hmm. Give me another thrall. It's a free seer. That's a good and card. And then I'm going to sack my four thralls. Go back to 14. So, what have I got? Um, four mana, then I so play a rankle, makes four thralls. Um, sack the four thralls. Mana eighteen five cards. How many cards are on your eighteen? Eighteen. Uh, use three of my mana to play a wreck sage. Three more thralls. Destroy your Phyrexian altar, Greg. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll sack the thralls. Go back to four. Spend two on there now. Ugh, got enough bloody dice here. <laughs> Might go make a coffee. I know. Really... Anything? <laughs> How many are you going to deck yourself there, Lee? Or uh, I mean, I can probably draw out and then um, Robert, I can either yeah, I can draw out and then once he's got enough mana, he can scry draw. To what well, you need. you're gonna yeah, I mean, torment of of hellfire. What, what, life, or... what life you guys on? 22. Uh, 29. Can you kill uh, us? If yeah, you can I, kill us, then we'll just scoot. Well, I, can, I, I can get, basically, I can get rid of these guys. I'll dig down eventually till I get Chandra's Ignition and do fast Chandra's Ignition. I bow down to your greater wisdom, Lee. No, you got to show us, you got to show us the wing on. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I've got three here. I've got sort of three thralls. I've got four mana. You get a blood artist back, you just win as well. Yeah, there's that as well. There is that as well, yeah. I've got, and I've probably got some other blood artist type card in here. Um, but yeah, so I've got three thralls, so I can play. Do you want your, uh, your wood elves sack. back? Yeah, I'll take my wood elves back. I'll sack my three thralls, go to seven mana. What's next? Archangel Athun. Oh, come on, guys. We would have. Uh, that goes up to 25. I had my blood artist coming. 
that would have saved this situation. Um, right, so I need to learn in future, put a, uh, a what's the yeah. thingy? A forest and peace into the deck. Mm. Fire wood elves. <laughs> Fire wood elves. Get three more thralls. This is probably risky. Do I have to? Have to I what? would get the forest because then you got more mana, right? I guess it, so. And it gets it out of your deck, so you're not going to draw the forest as well. So I'll just get a regular ass forest. Are you just going to draw this and win? I mean, what eventually. Do we play, ben? What are we playing? I'm going to sack the rank. I'm going to sack the wood elves, the, the wreck sage, the rankle, the murderous rider. I'll keep the this or seer. And the three thralls, that's another seven mana. Ten mana floating. Um, Ten stuff. Or scrying ten. Oh no, you've got the mana. Yeah, I'd, so that's four more cards to draw. I could scry. Well, only if you didn't want the mana, could you scry, but yeah. Yeah. Um, and then, so. 10 mana float in. Cast a prosh, which gives me six core bolts as well. So down to four mana, six. Plus 14. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I can see how many? So six. I get six thralls and six core uh, core bolts. So that's 12. So sack all of those. Uh, Corvold is now fucking huge. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Corvold could attack me to kill me. Well, it could. Um, and then with some of my immense amount of mana, I'm going to cast Chandra's Ignition. Um, and that does... Corvold's massive amount of power, 40 to each opponent and each other creature. All right, there I'll, we go. I'll kill Tor Torvald. <laughs> In Assassin's <response>. Trophy. <laughs> Fatal push. No, not quite. It's a five drop. It's a five drop. Fatal push, Fatal push probably should be played in more EDH deck nowadays. Mm. I don't so know. So many like. There's good always something. Like yeah, exactly. That's what I mean. Like a lot of good little cheap, efficient creatures now, right? Not everything's a big seven mana monster. Indeed. All right. Well, good game, Lee. Taking game it book. down. Sorry, it takes so long. It is a bit of a That's cool. solitaire. You got there. Wing. 